What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at. It is Earthmaster here, uh, August 17, 2021, about 11, 11, 10 a.m. West Coast time, where a 6.1 earthquake just struck around the South Sandwich Islands again, getting uh, continued earthquake activity on the globe here. Uh, also, some deep movement around the Fiji Islands area once again, including a uh, 5.8 earthquake and some a much, much deeper movement uh, to the north here of that 5.8. So quite a bit taking place here just within the last couple hours on the uh, plate tectonic side. There's the uh, EMSC 6.1 South Sandwich Islands area. Looks like uh, they got that well in before the USGS did. There's the 5.8 there around the Tonga area, south of Fiji. 6.1 South Sandwich Islands here, 47 kilometers. Excuse me. And a little bit deeper into the subduction zone here. Uh, let's see, you notice things have kind of calmed down in this region, uh, even from last night when I did the update video. They still had some earthquake activity, uh, but it was uh, a lot more populated than what we're seeing here on this map. But uh, that looks like it's about to change here with some further deep movement into the subduction area of the South Sandwich Trench, the uh, South Sandwich Plate, and the Scotia Plate over here to the west, getting a lot of pressure here from the east on on the uh, South American Plate here. Quite a bit of movement and buildup. Uh, 6.1 is a pretty good sized quake. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick. I don't believe we're going to see any tsunami statement, uh, and we haven't even with the larger quakes that we've seen in this area. It has been reviewed by a seismologist, so it stands at 6.1 magnitude, uh, 47 kilometers, once again into the subduction zone of that area. No tsunami statement or warning with this. Uh, looks like the last one was at 7.1 um, in the South Sam Sandwich Islands there eh, a day or so ago. Earthquake activity ramping up, folks. Still pretty quiet up here along the northern Pacific. Western Pacific, very quiet as well. Down here, deep movement kicking up once again. Uh, and some back building of pressure from the east here in this subduction zone. So stay on guard. I still think we're looking at uh, potentially another large quake in this area. Uh, so far, we've seen, uh, well, an eight point, uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go back to the last Oh, last 30 days, 4.5 and above into the Sam South Sandwich Islands area. That was the uh, 8.1, the largest. We had a 7.5 for a force shock, and then uh, I believe we that 6.9 or 7.1. I can't remember which one they uh, kept it at. There was a 6.3. See where that 6.9 went to. There we go, 6.9 uh, early yesterday. So, so far that's the largest aftershock, but uh, this 6.1 would be the third largest aftershock uh, in this sequence of quakes here, uh, which now sits at about 147 earthquakes. And these are not microquakes. These are not 2.5. These are basically 4.0, 4.5 and above. Lots of fives, as I mentioned, a few sixes, and they're scattered out and about all throughout the subduction zone. Not not confined to the 8.5 area, and not confined to the uh, or 8.1, and not confined to the 7.5 area. They're all scattered out and about by hundreds of kilometers long along the entire subduction zone uh, here along the South Sandwich Trench. So, just be on guard, folks. A lot of stuff taking place. A lot of movement going on down here. Uh, be safe. We'll be back a little bit later with an update. Till then, have a good day. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.